hello and welcome to this youtube channel i'm going to show you how you could remove an image background in clearer so the image that we're going to remove it's the background of the image that we're going to remove it's this one we're going to remove um this image right here and make this car be transparent you can see it's a mccarthy uh yeah mccarran <laughs> okay so uh this is uh clearer it's actually it looks it has the same vibe as photoshop but it's not photoshop so let me just put the image inside here clear up so i'll just drag i put it on my desktop here you see me i'll drag and drop it here i've dropped the image in clear up, so let me just uh, scale this up so this is our image clear uh, this is our um, current car which is in clear up. so go to the left side uh, left hand side of the screen select this curve brazer curve brazer curve selection tool brazer curve selection tool so what this does is it draws it creates lines where you would want to actually want to cut so it's actually specialized where um you could actually make uh lines where you want to cut so i'll take my time uh pointing at places where i want actually my cut my cut to be so this actually just helps you to make accurate cuts accurate cuts so it'll take time it'll take a while to actually uh, get this done it'll take time it'll take a while so i'm zooming in and zooming out using my mouse wheel so what i need to do is actually uh trace this whole car here so you can see me that i'm zooming in so that i could actually press the line exactly where it's supposed to be so i'm slowly pressing the line exactly where it's supposed to be this is this is the place where i know once i cut it it's gonna it's gonna um it's gonna cut so it's like a mouse it's like um a knife where you want to cut you actually uh, make a line that i'm gonna cut here so this is actually what creator is doing okay um wait wait what, what is spider-man doing here Ah, hey Spidey, Spidey, we don't actually need you to be here. You could actually find some better price to where you could actually dance and show those dance moves. Oh, it's a Benton character. Anyways, uh, let's continue cutting. Um, let's continue selecting actually the prices where we want our cut to be. So, I'll diligently do this. And I'm recording this so that you could actually see this in real time. It's a little bit boring, but it, it gets interesting once you are actually done. Once you're actually done. If this was, was just a box, it would have just been tracing a box, but you have to take your time. Um, the longer you take, the more refined it's going to look. The longer you take, the more refined it's going to look. So it's, it's a little bit tricky there, but... So yeah, getting the corners, it's, it's kind of hard, but you could actually just drag your mouse and it actually makes a curve. So that's, that's the mirror. The side view mirror. Okay, so almost 30% uh, of our car has been traced. So let's just continue here. It's gonna take a while though. It's gonna take a while, so be patient with me. But you're going to see the end result. Um, the end result is going to be nice. The end result is going to be very, 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 very nice. I hope we won't have any more Spider-Man disturbances, cause um, Benton disturbances, cause uh. It was just quite annoying that 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 guy came out of nowhere. Okay, so still, still tracing it, still tracing it. We're almost there. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. You could actually make um a very uh fast progress if you would actually just be you know careless and all that. But we don't want to be careless. We want this to look actually professional, like we've been paid. For doing this so i'm making this as professional as possible showing you in real time how i'm doing this and hoping that you're not getting bored uh, you're not getting bored along the way it takes effort and determination but we're almost done guys almost done uh this this won't be hard this won't be hard um you know krita uh is the brace photoshop alternative actually because with krita you can actually do everything that people do with photoshop um, the good thing with this is that Photoshop is not free. Creator is completely free. Creator is open source. 
Twitter is completely free and it has a very strong community. And again, you could actually use both Creed and Photoshop at the same time. But I my my preference my preference is actually Photoshop is actually Creed because I don't even have Photoshop installed. Okay, so you're still doing this, still doing this, still trying to get the lines straight, still trying to trace the outline of the car. Uh, making sure that I don't miss a thing. So I'm I'm thinking that this is actually 65% done. We're 65% done here. So yeah, if I'm making a mistake here, it's okay. So this is like the shadowy part. We have to be careful here as to where the wheels are, because you know they are wheels. They they are vehicle wheels, and we don't want to mess up here. Okay. Uh, that seems to be about done. One really grateful thing that you actually do is because uh, right now I'm using a mouse. Right now I'm using a mouse. So the most grateful thing that you actually do is actually mess up like double click somewhere, or else you're not even done tracing. That's like you, it means you have to start over again because you have made a mistake. So we aren't putting on loom for error, for errors. No, we're not looking for. We're not looking to make any errors here. We just, we just want to get this done the light way. Okay, uh, it's been six minutes right now. Spiderman, uh, I, I'm thinking he's gonna come back again. Okay, <laughs> oh here he is. Oh here he is. Hey Spidey. Hey. Okay. Um, let's continue drawing. That that or something. Okay, so you could actually uh, trace you trace your steps by um, clicking the light um, mouse button. By clicking the light mouse button, you could actually trace the uh, the line and and redo it. Like the way I've done here, I made a mistake there, so I could just like uh, just retrace it and uh, draw somewhere where it's kind of nearer. So let let me zoom in there by rolling. I just I've just zoomed in by loading my mouse wheel cross enough. So it's ten it's seven minutes. This is taking longer than I expected. But we're almost done. We're almost we're almost there. We're almost done. Okay, so um we're almost done and uh, getting a circular shape is a little bit hard because you know it's a circle, so <laughs> circles are always hard to trace, always hard to draw. Okay, so we're almost done here. We're almost done. We just have to get this curve right. Okay, so I'm showing you this deliberately, guys, in your time. Deliberately in your in your time, how how long it takes to actually um, remove a background like this one in Creator. Okay, so I think that is nice. We still have this tricky part here, but what? Um, the magical thing that will happen once uh, I finally link this up is that we we'll actually be able to to remove this background. So so here goes nothing. Okay, so I uh, like the longer I take with this video, the more big it's going to get. Uh, I don't want this to be extremely big. I have to uh, try as much as possible to be quick. Okay, so I'm almost there. It's like we're at 99% uh, right now, so it's almost there. It's we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the final part. Okay, cool. We have managed to uh, trace our car. You can see that it's kind of growing. So what you need to do is uh, press uh, the light button uh, of your uh, mouse and select um, cut new layer. Yeah, select cut to new, to new layer. So what this has done is it has actually, you know, removed the car from the scene. Uh, you can see that the background has no car. So what we need to do is we could just go to the background right here and delete it. So we have actually removed the background. So it's like it's still growing. So what you need to do is um, select um, the light, um, click the um, right click button on your mouse and, and select deselect. So you see, we have actually removed the background um, of the car, where w w this is actually a transparent background where I could actually put anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you quickly. I've added a new layer here by pressing this 
so I'm just gonna drop this below here and um, make this disappear and let's let's add a, a new background here uh, press F on the keyboard or press this fill tool so you could actually drop color here so I'm thinking uh, let's let's take this car and then show our car so you could see actually the car is on a different background um, that's still not perfect but let, let's let's put a white background a white background okay is F on the keyboard make sure that this is that you could put white here and here guys we have removed actually the background uh, using creator we have moved the background of, of the car using creator okay spidey you can come you can come out now yeah now you know spider uh spidey i don't know if it's benton or spider-man but he's here and he's celebrating so this is how guys you could actually move the background of a car using creator and if you want to save this as transparent you could just um switch this layer off and go to file let's save this as transparent so that we could actually be using this in in, in our different projects so go to uh, desktop maybe if you want to save it on the desktop make sure you save it as a png png image so here uh i'm gonna say car trust so this is car transparent so this is like our transparent image um this is our transparent image we have removed uh the background using clearer thank you